from Rajiv Lochan will set the ball rolling. Yes, and what we noticed yesterday also, Nirma University came out to be a very strong university and so were the Gujarat team or the university that was behind. And this morning as we start off the day, let's remind our viewers that these are four league matches that were supposed to happen yesterday but got uh, scheduled for today itself in the events and which is why before we start the quarters and then the semi-final and the finals we've got to have these four league matches remaining and there you go Akshay we have these two teams up front COEP Technological University Pune and Government College of Engineering Aurangabad Chhatrapati Sambhaji Nagar starting it off of course uh, the Pune team right now is in red and the Chhatrapati Sambhaji Nagar team is in blue and we see that the blue team has got off to a rollicking start over here. In fact, they are trying to come back. They're bringing the robot back and we also have the red team out there trying to figure out what exactly is going on. And there we see that the red team has been able to plant four saplings so far. So far, while the blue team is also starting off their journey now, they've been able to plant four or five seedlings into the right spots now. I like the way the team in blue, College of Engineering from Aurangabad has gone about their area number two. They're already tackling and trying to get as many balls from the harvest area into the, into the area number three, which is a good strategy we have seen over the days in the last couple of days, that these are the ways where, where you can accumulate maximum points. And they realize that it, it shows this, the, that they have confidence. It, it shows that they're sure about their area number one, that they will get maximum seedlings into the plantation area. So, yeah, I like the strategy and uh, Aurangabad is looking confident, but so is College of Engineering from Pune. You know, already they have all the seedlings planted successfully into area number one, and now the uh, manual robot has moved on to the harvest area. From there on, they will picking up the first ball, which should be the red one, which is compulsory, and from there on, they will throw it as many balls into the area number three and from there on try to accumulate as many points looking good already almost halfway through yes more than halfway through with this first match of the day which is the first league match of the remaining four matches so interesting lineup and uh, college of engineering pune and uh, college of uh, engineering from aurangabad fighting it out there brilliantly nice way to start the day from sakshi i think it's just the way to build the excitement perfect Indeed, we all need the excitement today to kickstart our day. So the simple reason, it's also a Sunday and today is the day when all the viewers are going to be sitting and enjoying as we bring you the live broadcast of the ongoing DD Robocon 2024 by Dool Darshan Sports. And of course, it's an honor to be able to be a part of this such a mega grand international event. Let's not forget that the finals are of the ABU Robocon 2024 are going to happen in Vietnam on the 25th of August this year and whichever team qualifies shall be representing India internationally and globally. And talking about the match also right now, how I see it's equally poised. What's good to notice over here is that the robots today, unlike yesterday what we witnessed Akshay that a lot of robots had malfunctioned, the robots are efficient, they're functioning to their full capacity. That is a good sight to watch because it allows the students then to use their robots to their full potential. Sakshi, that little glitch, I was about to say that it was evenly balanced, but that little faltering into the plantation area of Team Blue from Aurangabad, one of their seedlings fell down and they had to come back to the starting zone. I think that's where they have kind of missed out a trick or two. Otherwise, it was so evenly balanced. Mind you, it was almost like a picture-perfect scenario with time, with the area selection, with the strategy. It almost looked very, very similar. But that little glitch on part of Team Blue, Arangad, probably, I think there wouldn't be much of a margin. Check it out in the replays there, how Team in Red and uh, Team in Blue, this uh, opening match, uh, opening match of this day too, which is the most crucial day as far as these aspirations of these young technocrats is concerned has panned out. There you see Aurangabad's uh, bot in blue uh, successfully planting it into the plantation area and I think he missed a trick or two here where one of the seed blinks fell down and because of that he had to make a comeback to the starting zone. Very, very heartening to see because the margin of error is very little. Right, the margin of error is very little, but to witness a good match at the start of the day on a day when we are looking at finals also happening is indeed always a pleasure to the site.